Hey YouTube, what is going on? The Printer Guy here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the problem of not being able to print a certain color, black, or printing blank pages on the Epson Workforce 3620. If you're having that type of trouble with your printer, or you just have like lines coming up, streaks, or faded prints, then you're going to want to watch this entire video. You're going to have the solution to that problem here in this video. There's going to be a link down below for all of the products I end up talking about here in the video including the best printers cleaning kit. There's going to be a link for it down in the description below. All right, so the first thing you want to do with your printer is you want to get into the settings and you want to go to maintenance and then you're going to print a head nozzle check. This head nozzle check is going to help you determine what exact colors are giving you the trouble that you're having. So whatever colors are not printing basically. Whatever colors are printing, you don't necessarily need to clean those. But as you can see here, all of my color except for yellow is gone. So my magenta and cyan. So I'm going to set this report aside and now I know I need to focus 100% of my efforts on magenta and cyan when I do this cleaning. Now we're going to check the ink levels. 100% of the time usually what happens is ink is running too low. I'm going to leave a link down in the description below for some remanufactured ink for this printer. And you're going to want to buy that ink before you even do this cleaning and make sure it arrives because once you do this cleaning, when you replace your ink, you're going to want to make sure that you replace your old ink cartridges with the new ink cartridges. Now, once your print head is loose, you may have to print another nozzle report, but once it is loose, you're going to unplug the printer and you're going to proceed with the cleaning. So we're going to remove the ink cartridges. This print head is in a place that's unlocked. To know that it's unlocked, usually it moves to the middle. In this case, I ended up unlocking it here on the side. But for you, you most likely will need to print off a nozzle report as it's printing, unplug the printer. Now we're gonna be using paper towel. We're gonna to fold this up. Make sure you have plenty of paper towel when you're doing this process, have it laid out all around because this can get messy, especially if this is your first time doing this. So you're going to fold up your paper towel just like this down towards this skinny basically. And because it's gonna to need to be put under the print head. Once it's under the print head, we can then begin the actual cleaning with the best printers cleaning kit. Again, there's going to be a link for that product down in the description below. The reason why you want to buy that product specifically, it's the only one on the market that has a 20 milliliter syringe. That 20 milliliter syringe is very important because you want to be able to push as much cleaning fluid with as much velocity as possible. That's really what ends up breaking up that blockage. All right, so once we have the print head in place, we want to make sure we have this paper towel down below. And when you're doing this cleaning, as you're doing it, you're going to want to swap out with new paper towels as you go along. Here's the best printer's cleaning kit. There's your 20 milliliter syringe. You're going to get 100 milliliters of cleaning fluid. That gives you enough to do five 20 milliliter cleanings, and that should be plenty. Now, what I will advise is that you warm up this cleaning fluid before applying. With these models, they're a lot older, and so there's a lot more clogs, a lot more gunk in there that you need to break up, and you're going to be able to do that effectively with warmed up cleaning fluid. There are videos on my channel showing you how to warm up the cleaning fluid, do it safely, and so that you don't end up with a mess on your hands. So we're going to start off with cyan. This is the first color we're going to end up cleaning. You're going to put this silicone tubing over the nozzle, the blue nozzle, cyan. And uh, it's very simple because that silicone tubing is already attached to the syringe. So all you have to do is warm up the fluid, put it in the syringe, and then you can begin to apply that warmed up cleaning fluid into cyan. And now I'm going to be doing magenta. Now, if you have resistance at this point, even with warmed up fluid, you may need to warm it up even more. As you can see here, I have a little bit of resistance and what ends up happening is you have to continually apply pressure, not so much to where it breaks and there is a spillage that happens, but you want to make sure that there's a consistent pressure going through and eventually you see there that I'm able to push the cleaning fluid through. So at this point, I would just swap out this paper towel or you can move it to a part of the paper towel that's a little drier. Uh, in this case, I actually end up removing it and placing a new paper towel down in here. That is the best way to do this because you don't want a big mess on your hands. This can get quite messy. I'm also doing yellow just because many times it does help along the way with the entire print head and I'm doing a little bit on black. So I'm doing a full cleaning here. Just keep in mind, you're going to lose all your colors. You're not going to be able to print any colors after you do this. So there's going to be a method that you need to use after you do this cleaning to get the ink back in the system. And that's why you absolutely need new ink. 
Remember, there's links down in the description below for this cleaning kit, which I highly recommend. You get a 20 milliliter syringe. I'm primarily the one that sells a 20 milliliter syringe on Amazon. So that's where I'm linking you to. And then you want to absolutely get remanufactured ink or OEM ink. You know, either way is fine, but you need to make sure you have brand new ink to install into this printer so that you can go on with the rest of this process. So a very important point, you want to wait 24 hours before you install anything, before you power anything on, before any, any of this. So once you've done the cleaning, wait 24 hours, dry it up, dry the area up with some paper towels, but then leave it off for 24 hours. And then we get to this point where we power everything on. And of course, at this point, we've already installed the ink. And so we can move forward with the process that the printer has. You may have to do some finessing with installing the ink so that the, the ink system reads the ink. Now we're going to go back to settings and we're going to go back to maintenance at this point, And we're going to do a print head cleaning. Very important that we do a print head cleaning. You may need to do this once. You may need to do this multiple times. Do all of the colors. And you may need to do this again once or you may need to do this five, maybe ten times. I've had to do this in the past ten times before I actually saw my color return. What you did is you pushed all of the ink out of the system, which is what you needed to do to break the clog. Now you need to push the ink back into the system. And this is how you're going to do that is by doing a printhead cleaning. The way that it normally would do this cleaning is by pushing ink a little stronger into the system, into the print head, and that is how you would get your ink back to normal. All right, so if this cleaning is successful, you should be able to print out a nozzle report that has all of your colors, and you should be back up in printing totally normally again. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please make sure to like. Any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time. If you need additional support, make sure to join my membership. It is the quickest way to get expedited support.